John Murdy, Creative Director, Universal Studios Hollywood, welcoming you to this behind the scenes look at Halloween Horror Nights 2009. So where are we? <laughs> right now, I am standing in our latest attraction, Saw, Game Over. And we're in the construction phase. That means we're building the sets, we're scenicking the walls. We're just about ready to start bringing in the props and dressing. So I tell you what, let's take you into the bathroom trap. So when I think of Saw, the number one trap I think of is the bathroom trap. And that's where we are right now. This room is being transformed into the bathroom trap from the original Saw movie. And what happens inside this scene? Well, for us as designers, we have to design all of the scenes in a maze. It's kind of like 10 second vignettes. So what do we pick? We pick the goriest, most graphic, most horrific scenes. So for this scene, of course, we're gonna find Dr. Gordon in this room saw in hand in the process of sawing his own leg off. So right now all you're really looking at are the raw walls of the bathroom trap and all of this over the next couple of weeks is going to get transformed so it looks like a scene straight out of the movie. One of the most common questions I think I get about Saw is how do you make Saw scary in a haunted attraction because the film series is all about the traps and people being caught in the traps. How do I scare you? Well, I scare you by putting you in the trap, by physically affecting you, and by designing these scares so that every time there's a setup, there's a payoff. It's something we call set them up and knock them down. So right now you're seeing Halloween, the life and crimes of Michael Myers in its truly raw state. We've just started constructing the walls for this attraction. So what are you gonna see when you come to Halloween, the life and crimes of Michael Myers? Well, out front, we're constructing the Myers house from the original Halloween 1978. We're gonna take you through the Myers house. You're gonna see Judith's murder. And then we're gonna take you to the town of Haddonfield on Halloween night, the night he came back for the babysitter murders. So what's the process once we're in production of creating an attraction like Halloween, the life and crimes of Michael Myers? Well, it starts with this. This is all just wood that we're building to form the different rooms of the attraction. And then from there, we bring in our scenic, do all the wallpaper, all of the painting and distressing and aging. And then all the furniture arrives and we handpick every single piece of furniture in this attraction. And then we bring in the lighting people and they light everything. Then we bring in the audio people and for an attraction like Halloween, The Life and Crimes of Michael Myers, there's an incredibly complex audio design. So there's all kinds of things that go into creating a haunted attraction like Halloween. This piece is for uh, Chucky's Funhouse. The idea is, is where Chucky is putting together his doll minions. We put them all together to have this doll workshop area. All of this stuff is attached permanently, and then the characters use this piece and work around it to scare the guests. Uh, this is one of the work tables in the Jigsaw's lair. This piece is a workbench, which shows one of his uh, traps in the process, some drawings, tools, different items. Every character has some kind of hand prop assigned to them. Some of the characters will get these battle axes, shaker can, noisemaker, knife, machete, axe. This year, a lot of pickaxes for my bloody Valentine. Now let's answer some of your questions from Twitter. One of the questions we received is how many people are working on maze construction at any given time? Now maze construction actually includes a couple of different disciplines. You have the physical construction of the walls of the maze. You have what's called the scenic treatment, which is all the paint details, wallpaper, etc. And then you also have props and dressing. So if you add all of that up, there is at least 100 people at any given moment working on our mazes. Ah! 